That's right, only three weeks to go on my three picks. A couple of regular season weeks plus the conference championship games. So my three picks, only three weeks remaining. We'll see who's standing at the end, me or this guy, the almighty coin. But before we pick this week's games for November 18th, let's go ahead and review the games that the coin and I picked last week. And last week, the coin and I, as you might remember, disagreed on all three of the games we selected. That was good news for yours truly in the Oklahoma State and Iowa State game. Thankfully, the Cowboys got an interception in the end zone and won by seven, by a very slim margin in terms of the point spread. After all, Oklahoma State was favored by six and a half. But, unfortunately, yours truly fell big time, went down in flames just like Jesse James when it came to Georgia, Auburn, I lost badly on that one, and I lost even worse in the Ohio State-Michigan State game. Coin won both of those games. So, here we go with just three weeks left. The coin, thanks to its two-in-one week and my one-in-two week, has a one-game lead over me. So, right now, the coin sitting at 18-15. and 15. I'm a game behind at 17-16. and 16. To pass what? All right, let's explain how this works. Just like every week, if the coin lands on heads, like the favorite tails, it's going to go with the underdog. And to tell you the truth, this week's games compared to last week, my God, a big dud. I mean, last week had some big time top 25 matchups. This week, you're going to be hard-pressed to find some games worth picking. But we're going to begin in Lubbock, TCU at Texas Tech. And this game's important to both teams for different reasons. Tech needs to win this game to get to that necessary sixth win of bowl eligibility and maybe save Cliff Kingsbury's job. In the meantime, TCU needs to win out, including this Saturday, in order to get to the Big 12 championship game. TCU is banged up offensively. I realize that Kenny Hill may not play. Running back Darius Anderson won't play. But TCU is still the more talented team. And remember, Tech beat TCU last year. So a little bit of that revenge factor for the Horn Frogs. I think this thing comes down to the fourth quarter. But TCU will have too much um, endurance in this one. Give me TCU minus the six points and the coin. Well, the coin, it likes TCU as well. I'm a trifle deaf in this ear. Speak a little louder next time. <laughs> All right, then. Let's talk about Oklahoma State hosting Kansas State. Cowboys, a huge favorite, according to Vegas, 19 and a half to defeat Kansas State. Wildcats, of course, need one more win. That's right, one, to get to bowl eligibility. I don't see it happening this week. K-State... They're not going to be able to put enough points on the board. That's just not the K-State way. In the meantime, the K-State defense is going to have a hard time containing Justice Hill, containing Marcel Aitman, Mason Rudolph, and that high-powered Cowboy attack. The game's being played in Stillwater. All signs point to the Cowboys winning big. And remember, Oklahoma State needs to win this week and hope that TCU loses in order to get to that Big 12 championship game. I don't know if TCU is going to lose. But I do know that Oklahoma State will win big and remain in the mix for another week. So give me the Cowboys minus the 19 and a half. And that coin, well, the coin's going to take Oklahoma State as well. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what I would do if somebody shoved the paddle handle up my ass. And finally, Camp Randall, Wisconsin, hosting Michigan. College game day is in Madison for this pivotal game, undefeated Wisconsin, but of course, who have they beat? Yeah, the Iowa win was nice last week, but Iowa has been up and down. Good news for Wisconsin, though. They're at home, and good news for Wisconsin. Biggest reason why they're undefeated, in my opinion, is because of their defense. And I don't know if Wisconsin is going to blow out Michigan, but I think Wisconsin will win by double digits. I don't see Michigan's offense doing much on the road against that Badger D. So give me Wisconsin, minus the seven, and the coin. Well, the coin likes Michigan. You thinking what I'm thinking? Let's go down to the improv and yell sad suggestions. Yeah. And that does it for this week. Yeah, time has run out. Time for me to go to my real job. Just a reminder, Oklahoma-Kansas postgame, it'll be on sometime on Sunday on this very webpage. Check it out. And join me at this time next week. It'll be the Thanksgiving edition of my three picks. See you next time.